Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the blower assembly on your wall oven. If your blower assembly fails, the controls in your wall oven may overheat and cause some serious damage. It's a really easy job to change, so let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to remove the wall oven from your cabinets, so the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power. Locate your electrical panel, remove the appropriate fuses or turn off the appropriate breaker, and then we'll need to pull it far enough forward that we can disconnect the harness connector to your electrical box. If you require an electrician to do this job, you should contact one ahead of time. Once we've done that, we can pull that oven out far enough, get it on a suitable work surface that will support the weight of it, and then we'll need to get to the back of the oven to do the repair. Now that we have the wall oven removed from the cabinets and it's on a suitable work surface, we're next going to remove this back panel as well as this top piece so that we can access that blower housing. These screws are all number two Phillips head screws or number two square head screwdriver will work as well. You may also need to release the screw that secures the clamp or that VX cable. And just tilt that out of the way. Remove that panel. And next, remove two screws on either side of that short panel across the top. And then at least two of these ones across the middle you can probably get loose in the top of the center one. Then lift that up, set that out of the way. Now we'll go ahead and remove the rest of the screws that secure that back panel. Now once we've removed all the screws, you should be able to lift up on that panel and then just set that aside. Well that gives us access to the existing blower housing. It is mounted with two screws to these L-shaped brackets. If your model does not have that style of a bracket, there are new brackets included with the kit and just follow the instructions to install it on your model. Otherwise, we're simply going to remove four screws at the rear, leaving the brackets intact. Now, once we remove the four mounting screws across the back, there is also another screw that attaches to that small piece of ductwork there. We just pull that foam seal down out of the way, expose the head of that screw, and remove that one. We should be able to lift that assembly up out of the way. We can pull it far enough forward that we can disconnect the wires to the connectors. We just check both of those, make sure there's no signs of arcing or corrosion. And if so, you'll need to replace them. We can then discard the old motor assembly. Now, if you didn't have to change your mounting brackets, we can continue with our repair. So our next step will be to Reconnect those two wires to the motor. Make sure they go on nice and firm, good and snug. And we're going to position that motor so that these mounting tabs are on the outside of those mounting brackets. But we'll slide that tab on that vent portion put over the outside. Install the single screw that secures that. Line up the screws on the mounting bracket.
it all real securely. Now next we'll take the foam strip that came with that kit, peel off the protective backing. It is a self adhesive foam seal. And it's going to lay right across the back of that housing. And that's to prevent vibration against the back panel. So carefully center it. And then press it up against the new blower housing. Here. We can now reinstall the back panel. We just want to make sure that that center tab is on the outside edge of that lower bracket. Let the, make sure the outside edges are tucked inside of that bracket. hole should line up and then we can go ahead and reattach the retaining screws. Now once we have the center back panel installed we can now go ahead and put that top piece across. We're going to tuck this piece in behind that back panel. Line up that center screw, fit it into the notch. And then reinstall the retaining screws. Make sure that all of these screws are tight so that we don't create any vibration. Next we'll take the top panel and we'll slide that underneath the front top panel. And again, just reinstall the retaining screws. And if we remove the clamp for that BX cable, we'll next need to reinstall that. Make sure that the end is tucked into that slotted opening on the top. And then secure it with a screw. Make sure there's no strain on that cable. And now we're ready to put the oven back into the wall cavity and reconnect the wire harness. Now once we have the wall oven pushed back into the cabinets and reconnect the power, our repair is complete. Mm -hmm.